Brandon Mitchell, Crew 804. We're here with Highland Springs head coach Lauren Johnson. Now, every year around this time, we come around. Yeah. We come out. Normally, we come out to Randolph Macon. This yep. year, we're at Highland Springs. Yep. Guys, scrimmage in North Stafford. Uh, just tell me what you expected out of your guys today and, and what you saw out of them that you liked. Just effort more than anything because it's been a sloppy week uh, trying to beat the rain. So, you, you schedule for the morning, the rain's in the morning, you schedule for the evening, the rain's in the evening. So, We've been out on the field doing a lot of walkthrough and a lot of, you know, just kind of mental stuff. So at this point in time, we just want to see if the guys will come out to compete, uh, how, how the tackling will be, even though we hadn't been able to go like 100% balls to the wall, you know, tackling out here on the football field. So we want to make sure they do those type of things. And then against the number one running back in the nation, just kind of contain them as much as you possibly can. Um, and, and, and we'll look at film and see how we did and, and see how those guys, you know, performed on the defense side of the ball. So. You know, we just wanted to execute as best we possibly can, contain a good running back, um, play smart, and if we can do those things, then we felt like we'd be it'll, today would have been a success. Now, what's your relationship like with the guys over there at North Stafford? This is something you guys continuously do every year. It's been very successful. Both teams disciplined. Mm -hmm. Both teams playing well when they come out here. Uh, what's your relationship like with them? So, Coach McGonnell and I were on the same staff together uh, when we were Stonewall Jackson and Manassas. So. We're really good friends. I wouldn't say that we're brothers, but we're close to it. Distant cousins, uh, if, you, if you want to put a title on it. But uh, we respect each other. I have a great respect for him and how he runs his program. And we have res respect for each other as, as, as men, as fathers, as husbands. So we spend a lot of time talking to each other, sharing ideas, and making each other better all the time. Gotcha. Now, I assume that when you come out here, you're only going to use a certain percentage of your playbook. You don't want to put everything out here when you come. What are you trying to get your guys accustomed to, especially in these early weeks of the preseason? Yeah, just executing. Uh, just executing the plays that we call. Uh, football is, is a sport that's repetitive. So, you know, we've been working on a lot of things, but we just want to work on some things that we felt like we can do well in, in the base of our offense and how everything else branches off of it. So we wanted to just complete those tasks as fast as we possibly could and, and as well as we possibly could. And in doing so, you know, it, it puts us in a better position week one, two, three, and, and further down the, the line. Gotcha. Now, you've been out here for seven seasons with these guys, seven seasons now, seven different teams, seven different personalities. What's so different about this team? Uh, it's been ten seasons, so this ten. is my tenth year. Excuse me. That's ten. all right. But uh, Thank you. If I, if I can go back, I would change some things from the first three years. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the difference is, uh, so there's a, there's a better buy-in uh, right off the bat just because of the success that the last couple of teams have had. But but more so often, I mean, how we carry them off the field is probably the biggest thing that we've seen and, and the biggest difference in this group and last year's group. Last year's group was, uh, it wasn't senior heavy. It was about 12 or 13 guys. This year, it's about 39 to 42 guys based on what a couple of guys do in summer school. Mm -hmm. And, and um, that puts us in position to have some leadership and some experience. But with that leadership and experience comes a lot of, uh, responsibility for those guys. If Coach Johnson puts you in the bad play, check out of that play. And Devontae Waller did that a couple of times today. Um, you know, on the defense side of the ball, Christian White, he's the leader over there. If, if Coach Simmons puts them in the bad play, we want to get him out of the play. So what we see from this group is a lot of experience, a lot of dedication to the program. Guys have been around now four years. And, and they've worked extremely hard. Three weeks now in between you guys and Hermitage matching up on the 24th. Yeah. 24th. What does Highland Springs need to fine tune before before that? Everything, right? I mean, if, if I look at it and say, okay, we're good in one area, then we lack in that area as we progress and move forward. So we do not want to do that at all. Uh, we want to make sure that our kids are, are, are working hard on special teams. They're paying attention to details on the offensive line. You know, they stand outside on the defensive line. I mean, the list can go on and on and on forever. But we want to work on everything possible to get us where we want to be week one and beyond. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.